How you guys doing? In this video, I like to talk about cable. Is he the best option for biohazard? I'm also going to talk about cable being 100% poison resistant. Not many people know that cable can be 100% poison resistant with synergy. So I also have here, I have for as far as synergy, I have Apocalypse, White Magneto, Wolverine, and Professor X. As you can see here, Professor X, I have three charges. That's very important to, to note. And we're going to look at Professor X, his info, and his synergy. So let's look at Professor X synergy. It says all mutant and X-Men except Professor X gain an 18% poison resistance for each cerebral charge. So right now, Professor X has three charges. So 18 times 3 is 54%. So this synergy would work with Wolverine, X-23, or Colossus. And I believe this could be 2 star or higher. I'm not sure about the 1 star. So right now, Cable is 54% poison resistant with Professor X and Wolverine Synergy. In this video, I'd like to talk about another synergy he has is with White Magneto. So here, he has 60% poison resistant with Cable with White Magneto Synergy. So now Cable is 60% poison resistant with White Magneto plus 54% poison resistant that's 114 percent so that's more than good enough you only need 100 percent poison resistant to be viable i'm also going to talk about cables future poison duration so cable with future poison durations are reduced by 20 percent each time a poison is triggered on cable once his poison durations are reduced to zero cable gains a passive 50 percent bonus to special damage so what does that mean basically you know, once you gain um you inflict five future poison durations on you once that reduced to zero you're not gain you're not you're gonna gain this green circle poison mastery on you so what does that mean you're not gonna gain any more future poison duration on yourself not only that, you're going to gain 50% special attack bonus. So keep in mind, I do have Apocalypse 2. So I'm going to activate my Horseman ability with Apocalypse. So what does that mean for Cable? Basically, Cable gains 100% bleed resistant as well as now having 100% poison resistant. So I'm looking at Biohazard. When struck, 20% chance to inflict bleed, dealing 100% of attack as direct damage over 7.5 seconds. When blocking an attack, 50% chance to inflict poison, dealing 100% of attack as direct damage over 7.5 seconds. Here I'm making sure it's only Biohazard. There's no enhanced bleed or poison on me. Uh, node going on. So what does it mean basically when you hit the opponent, there's a 20% chance you'll inflict bleed on yourself. If you hit the opponent on the block, there's a 50% chance that you're going to inflict poison on yourself. So keep in mind, this is only biohazard, nothing else. And there's no enhanced bleed or poison uh, no, uh, no, keep that in mind. So here I'm going to see, I just want to let you know, I did not play very well in this game. As you can see, I already got hit. So what I'm going to try to do is try to hit uh, Groot on the block to show you that Cable is not losing any health from poison because he's 100% poison resistant. So being 100% poison resistant, 100 bleed resistant it's only healing him as you can see the best thing about biohazard is you can do your five hit combo with cable that will inflict bleed on yourself when cable does bleed it inflicts degeneration on the opponent not only that if you're bleeding you're you're gonna you know heal from bleed as you can see here now he has that green circle poison mastery on me on him and he's not inflicting any more future poison duration on himself so here I'm going to trigger the special 3. 
this pretty much well, pretty close to getting him down. See, I try to hit on the block. No more future poison duration on myself. I'll have. Well, you can see I did not play very well, but I still managed to finish with 96% health. That's because of, I was healing from suicide masteries, from bleed and poison. And I didn't even trigger my regeneration. If I did, Cable would be 100% health right now. You do want to be careful. Uh, the node, uh, in this case, it's not only biohazard I'm up against. I'm up against enhanced bleed. So what does that mean? Bleed abilities are 40% more effective. So this will bypass 100% bleed resistant with cable. So you got to be careful on that. So the question is, how is cable going to fare against enhanced bleed? So let's look at it in action. So in this uh, gameplay against Wolverine, I'm going to try to minimize my hits. I'm going to pretty much going to try to focus on trying to do just heavy attack because once I do inflict uh, bleed on myself, I'm going to take damage because of the enhanced bleed. And you'll see in this fight, I'm going to uh, take damage on myself because of the enhanced bleed. So here... Just gonna do some heavies, try to eliminate as many hits as possible. As you can see, I get a bleed on myself. I'm losing health because of the enhanced bleed. Even though it is an enhanced bleed and I'm losing health, thanks to my you know regeneration, I'm being able to get back to a hundred percent health. And here going up against cable, it's only gonna be biohazard, there's no enhanced bleed or poison on me or enhanced poison so we're just gonna fight it like normal being up against cable though um i he is stun immune so you do want uh it's gonna be harder to go up against cable cable does um you know does very well against opponents that can be stunned because you can really parry and heavy a lot in this case Cable is stun immune, so it's going to be a little harder to play against Cable. So, as you can see in this game, I did not play very well. But somehow I managed to get through it, which is good. Thanks to my uh, ability to heal from bleed, as well as my, uh, for, from poison mastery, I'm able to be, my health is still doing pretty fine. As you can see here, I still have 77% health. Thanks, and I didn't even trigger my regeneration. Thanks to my because of my, I'm healing from suicide masteries. That's why I'm at 77% health. So here I'm gonna be up against unstoppable colossus, and it's gonna be only biohazard. So keep in mind you do need to have. Three charges with Professor X to be a hundred and with White Magneto synergy to be a hundred percent poison resistant. So here I'm going up against Stoppable Colossus. This is only biohazard. There's no enhanced bleed or poison on me. So cable should be the best option for this. So we're gonna go up against Stoppable Colossus. So I started with 77% health. Let's see how uh, how much health do I finish after I after this fight. See, as you can see here, I'm healing from bleed as well as my, uh, what happens is if I bleed the opponent, it inflicts degeneration on the opponent. And when I do bleed, I'm only healing from it. I'm also healing from the poison mastery. As you can see, I'm inflicted, I inflicted bleed on myself. I'm only healing from it. And when I am bleeding, cable is bleeding, it inflicts degeneration on the opponent. As you can see here, I started with 77 77% health, I end up finishing the fight with 100% health. As you can see, even though I didn't play very well, I, uh, what's that? Uh, four fights, I still finish with 100% health in Biohazard. So, do I think Cable is the best option for Biohazard? 
I think so. I think yes. Without Synergy, no. I think without Synergy, I believe Omega Red is probably the best option for Biohazard. But with Synergies, I do believe it's Cable. You can make an argument for Kingpin with the Hood Synergy. But uh, I do believe that Cable against Omega Red or Kingpin, he can uh, not only be able to have, you know, be able to regen more than Omega Red or Kingpin, he can also out damage them, has higher damage per second than Omega Red with Kingpin, as long as you have synergies with Cable. Keep in mind to have, you need to have the right synergies with Cable. Obviously without synergies, Cable is not that good when it comes to Biohazard, but with synergies, he, he just makes this node looks easy. I mean, I took my, I had my uh, five star rank five guillotine 99, Warlock and Sentinel in Biohazard with Ultron Synergy plus 60% attack bonus at a hard time compared to Cable. I mean, Cable made it look easy compared to those guys, compared to the robots. You think Cable robots would be the best option when it comes to Biohazard because they're 100% bleed and poison immune? But no, not in this case. I do... Uh, cable just makes this node look easy. So I do think Cable is the best option for Biohazard. What do you guys think? Who do you think the best option for Biohazard is? Thank you.